Hey guys, it's Amy Lee Simpson. I'm coming at you today, Monday, November 7th, with a pressing, urgent, exciting news from the Lord that he gave me two nights ago and told me to deliver to you today. Now, there is no mistaking that tomorrow is a rather big day, as it is an election day, and um, as believers, you know, we speak on behalf of God's plan and his church. So I want to encourage you right now to pray first and foremost, and then also according to the leading of the Holy Spirit, please go vote. Vote so that the Holy Spirit has a say in what is happening in our community and in our country because, you know, God wants to guide and lead the decisions in this, in this country, but he also wants to partner with us. You know, there's a reason why God uses examples in the Bible, oftentimes the most extreme examples. So if we're thinking Saul, you know, Saul is the self-professed worst of sinners. Um, David is the least likely warrior. You know, sometimes we discount what we can do. One person, one voice, and God is saying, no, it doesn't matter what your strength or your weakness is. I can use you. I want to partner with you. There's also a reason why David had to fling the stone. God didn't just level the giants. And I want you to know there are giants right now walking in this earth. And there are things that we need to do to partner with the Holy Spirit to lay those giants low. And um, so I just want to encourage you today to be a giant slayer. Be someone that says, you know what, I might not be the strongest. I might not be the most equipped or the most able, but I'm willing. And I'll say, here I am, Lord, send me. I'll go into battle. I will be the one that stands and cheers and slings the stone to level the giants because we see that they're there. <laughs> we know that God wants to use us to move mountains in this earth. And so we do want to level these giants. And this word that the Lord gave me for today is to that effect calling us into our position in our calling into our anointings as generals in the faith and that's how God sees you I'm going to read to you um, a scripture from Isaiah that this word sort of branched off of that the Lord gave to me first and then I'm going to read to you this word um, and I just hope it encourages you and empowers you to go be um, a giant slayer today okay it says in Isaiah 14 3 when the Lord has given you rest from your pain and turmoil and the hard service with which you were made to serve, you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon. How the oppressor has ceased, the insolent fury ceased, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of rulers that struck the peoples in wrath with unceasing blows. Wow, doesn't that feel like what we've been living under for the past two years? that rule the nations in anger with unrelenting persecution. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. The cypresses rejoice at you, the cedars of Lebanon saying, since you were laid low, no woodcutter comes up against us. So that is a picture of what the Lord wants us to do in this time. It, there, our warfare is released through our worship and through our praise. So even when we are under oppression or when we feel like things are not going the right way, God still wants us to rejoice because even the rocks will cry out if we refuse to. Okay, this word is called take it back. It says, arise generals, stand at the water's edge and declare the day of the Lord. For you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon. You will raise your voice and strike the ground and watch the tumultuous sea of differences part and yet unite as the dry ground you will walk upon will be the stars and stripes you defend. The staff of the wicked has been broken. The unceasing blows of injustice are coming to an end and the time where your song of praise and rejoicing will ring out like an anthem is upon you. For the storm has been long and the road to redemption leagues below the turbulent waters. Yet I alone am the one who will part the seas at your call. Command it is done in my name and the inheritance of freedom will be given unto you for generations of greater glory. Hallelujah. For the wicked are backing into their traps and their plans will be washed away by the wave that is returning. For I am not finished with America, declares the Lord of hosts. And I am ready for my bride to know her worth and take my name. Take it back. Watch then as I bring you out of bondage into the place of promise, the place that has been prepared for the harvest of heaven that will bring the broken systems under the authority 
of the rightful king and usher in not the end of days, but the beginning of the reign of my glory and my abundance and my influence. I say again, stand at the shore, strike the ground, my remnant, and call forth the reckoning that is brewing. Gosh, that just gives me chills. It makes me so excited about the days that are ahead of us because we know that God works and he promotes from the pit. It's not often when things are amazing that God brings breakthrough. It's when things are broken and in need of restoration. And so that is where we are at today. And that is why you, oh David, are called to worship through and all and raise your hand and say, you know what, Lord, I'm willing, send me. All right, guys, I hope that encourages you today. Please get out and vote tomorrow and pray, 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 pray. We need you. We need you battling in the spirit. I love you. He loves you. Have the best day. We'll see you next time.